ಓಂ ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನೌ ಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯಂಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಓ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಅ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಆಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಡನ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವಾಸ್ ಎ ಬಿಗ್ ಗ್ಯಾಪ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಡಿಡ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ರಿವ್ಯೂ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ವಿ ಸೀ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ದಿಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇತಿ ಆತ್ಮದೇಹ ಭಾಗೇನ ಪ್ರಪಂಚಸ್ಯವ ಸತ್ಯತ ಯಥೋಕ್ತ ತರ್ಕಶಾಸ್ತ್ರೇಣ ಕತ ಕಿಂ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥತ ಸೋ ದೆನ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಎಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಬ್ಲಿಷ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆತ್ಮ ದಿ ಡಿಫ್ರೆನ್ಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ದಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಲಾಜಿಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನೈಯಾಯಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದೇರ್ ಓನ್ ವೇ ಆಫ್ ಅರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಕನ್ಕ್ಲೂಷನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಡ್ಯೂವ್ಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಪ್ರಕೃತಿ ಪುರುಷಾ ದಿ ಸಾಂಖ್ಯ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯು ಯು ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೆಪರೇಟೆಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಭಗವಾನ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎನಿ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಯು Uh, you know the 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 things that is wanted by various people various ends so if if you assume that everything is different then nothing you can get and then what is the use of moksha moksha means everything is one so if everything is already different then the shastra becomes what nirarthaka nirarthaka so then the liberation from bondage can never be attained if everything is different so the establishment of duality doesn't need a uh, what's its name uh, a shastra to come and tell everything is different why because you already know <laughs> and that is why you have come to the shastra not to establish the duality again nobody comes to the shastra to learn ha i am different from you and you are different from me and the world is different from me ishvara also is far far away from me anybody comes for this kind of a knowledge no why it's a self evident it's already there that but it is wrong it may be evident it is ev- the, the differences are like a thorn that prick me on the side it is evident but everything that is evident is is not right sunset is evident sun is setting and going behind the mountains or into the water it is evident to me it is pratyaksha but that doesn't make it correct it is actually not falling into the ocean is it no so sunset is an appearance and this duality also likewise is an appearance it is not um, it is not siddha by anything other than experience and experience may be wrong in fact experience is dumb until you analyze it so if you put a pencil in a glass of water how does it look yeah it looks stayed ha it looks bent and then you say oh this is very interesting ha huh? i am the owner of a bent pencil how f- wonderful when you take it out it has not undergone any change so likewise this universe is an apparent reality that appears to be different and why does it appear to be different because of one's own problem of atma agyanam atma agyanam is the problem so then this atma agyanam being the problem then this is where the problem you know uh, multiplies into so many other things so it's not just see agyanam is not so innocent 
in cats and dogs and animals it's very innocent they don't know themselves they don't know that they are bhagavan and they just play eat sleep kick the other one out when they feel competition <laughs> and go to sleep that's all they do they reproduce they have only agnanam but in human beings this agnanam takes another form what is that the wrong perception so if i don't know i am god no problem that's okay i'll just think i'm a human being and do my job and come home eat sleep go to work but what's the problem i i think i am an idiot i think nobody loves me i think i'm away from everybody i think i'm insecure i am convinced that i am just one of so many and i'm limited i'm finite these are the wrong convictions so these wrong convictions if they are not checked and if that is not uh, addressed and corrected then we have a problem on our hands what is that problem we continue to think that we are uh, separate from everything and that is part a of atma agnanam part b is this separation causes anxiety this separation causes sorrow this separation causes fear and that is the wrong understanding so there is first there is non understanding and when the in the animal world this non understanding remains non understanding they have just what is called agnanam just plain just plain agnanam j p a just plain agnanam they have okay but here we don't we have also human beings also have just plain agnanam but since we are self aware much more self aware um, than the animals and since this self awareness is completely 100% uninhibited and since i do not know myself therefore i use my brains extra and come to the conclusion what <laughs> i am an idiot i am a donkey why because everybody called me a donkey when i was young so i must be a donkey so why does this happen this happens because i i know myself partially i know i am but don't ask the next question who are you <laughs> because of the whole uh, box uh, you know the pandora's box you have heard no pandora's box what happened when it was opened worms and pestilence everything came out until pandora's box was open there was no job for pest control <laughs> pest control people were not even needed why there were no pests pandora's box it was it was closed due to some uh, blessing but then because of a curse somebody went and opened it and even though they were told not to open it i don't know who opened it maybe pandora herself we have to find out there is some mythology there very interesting so all the pestilence sorrow fear everything was released in other words samsara was released into the air i think that must have been when the human beings were created so because out of the jagat only the human beings can convert the jagat into samsara and that itself is the problem that is why the person comes to vedanta shastra that is why the person wants to be released by learning this uh, by by correcting this understanding through the study of vedanta but then if uh, the philosophies of the world also started to completely stamp this difference and say validate this difference then you know one is wired in then what's the point in fact it is stating the obvious i already know i'm separate that, that is wrong knowledge but if i make a philosophy out of it and start studying the philosophy it is kind of strangely dampening strangely sad why because this uh, this philosophy is just uh, um, reinscribing what i already wrongly know but is it going to give me freedom no it's going to bind me even further so all these philosophies is is not going to is not going to do this and then the and the author says the uh, the point of showing the difference 
between the atma and the body is not to show the reality of the body or the duality of atma and the body but only to deal with these kinds of opponents who say atma is as good as the body in fact in the coming section the whole thing called the jagat is going to be dismissed and atma alone is existing that is what is going to be shown so next verse what is the next verse ityatma deha bhedena dehatmatvam nivaritam ityatma deha bhedena dehatmatvam nivaritam idanim deha bhedasya hrasvatvam sphutam ucchyate idanim deha bhedasya hrasvatvam sphutam ucchyate iti means in this manner in which manner in the verses that has come before in this previous section atma deha atma and body bhedena by discussing the difference between the atma and the body dehatmatvam the feeling the view that i am the body nivaritam has been negated nivaritam negated so the view that atma is the body has been denounced negated by what the by the enunciation of the differences between atma and the body atma is cha, nischala body is chala we saw all that from the verse 31 onwards all this was there and so nivaritam that, that is the first line idanim now deha bhedasya hrasvatvam sputam uchyate now the author is going to take it upon himself to elucidate hrasvatvam means it was shortly mentioned body is jala atma nischala body is jada atma is chetana all this was briefly mentioned now with a view to um, making people abide more and more in this knowledge this difference is going to be fully and totally enunciated this difference is going to be enunciated explained and um, how is it going to be explained to show the um, uh, uh, asatvatvam asatvam means the mithyatvam the mithyatvam of the body uh, uh, is going to be now expanded the, the the discussion is going to be expanded um, to show the mithyatvam of the body sputam the mithyatvam of the body is now being clearly stated what is the mithya mithya is that which is dependent upon sat so mithya what is mithya body mind senses is mithya that there is a distance between body and atma mithya that is what is going to be now talked about nothing much to say in this verse he is just going to say what he is going to be doing okay that the body has no existence other than atma like even the uh, what is that the um, waves cannot exist without the ocean so in fact it is only atma but then we see the jagat because of the because of the uh, atma agnyanam this is what the this is what is going to be talked about chaitanyasyaika rupatvat chaitanyasyaika rupatvat bhedo yukto na karhichit bhedo yukto na karhichit jeevatvam cha mrishagneyam jeevatvam cha mrishagneyam rajjau sarpagraho yatha rajjau sarpagraho yatha first we we'll see the translation oh usually i put up this uh, text this time i haven't put it let me just find it i'll put it up so that people can follow this is what we do in this class so let me do that let me share the screen so we know where we are okay give me a second
Yeah. I suppose you can see this. Yeah. So where are we? Yeah, here is where we are. Yeah. So Chaitanyasya, Chaitanyasya for the consciousness, for the Chaitanya, what? Eka Rupatvat, because it has just itself on account of its oneness with everything, Eka Rupa. It doesn't have an Eka Rupa, it is not manifest as anything, it is just itself. Bhedaha na yuktaha karhichit. Karhichit means at any time. What is not there at any time? Bhedaha. Difference and division is not yuktaha, is improper. Untenable. The difference between consciousness uh, is, the, is not tenable at all. The difference between, for example, one consciousness and another consciousness is not tenable. Why? How many consciousnesses are there? One. So it is not admissible, not tenable when? At any uh, time. It is not yuktaha, it is totally inadmissible, improper, untenable. What is untenable? Chaitanyasya bhedaha. The bheda or the differences ascribed to this consciousness. And how is the difference ascribed to this consciousness? In the form of, oh, body, mind, senses or the world. So many things in the world, right? And... So, this is anna yuktaha karhichit, the first line. It is not admissible, it is not tenable, at any time it is not allowed. Why? What about jiva? What about me? Jivatvam tavva uh, tu, jivatvam cha, uh, is it cha or is it tu? Cha. Jivatvam cha mrishagnyayam. Mrishagnyayam. This jivatvam is likewise an appearance. Brisha actually means false, but here we have to take it as mithya. So, rajvam sarpagraho yatha or rajau sarpagraho yatha. Raju and seventh case becomes rajau. So, rajau sarpagraho yatha. So, chaitanyasya ekarupatvat bhedaha nayuktaha karhichit. So, because consciousness is in one form alone, no division is ever tenable for, for consciousness. And what about me, this jiva? Jivatvam chamrisha gnyayam. Likewise, this jivaness, jivahood must be known and must be denounced, must be negated as mithya. How? Rajau in the uh, rope. Sarpagraha yatha. Sarpagraha means what? Sarpagraha means the um, the uh, the catching, the grasping, the perception here. So the perception, sarpagraha, snake perception of what? Where? In the rope. In the rope, when you see the snake, what do you do? You have to deny it. You have to negate it. You can't, you know, you can't uh, think that it is rope. So each time, uh, sorry, it is snake. So each time you encounter this rope, what will happen? You'll keep scre screaming snake, snake, snake. Each time you encounter any rope, you will say, say snake. You cannot be anywhere near a rope as a result. Why? Because you'll keep seeing snake. You'll keep seeing a ropa instead of rope. <laughs> instead of uh, ropa, you will see a ropa. <laughs> everywhere okay so you cannot even and then that may extend to thread that may extend to anything <laughs> that that has a wishy-washy uh, no, no shape and it looks long and so that may extend to small rope big first it was only big rope fear then small rope fear then thread fear nothing you can be around half the things in the world you can't be around and so similarly the, this has to be denied. When? In the wake of the knowledge, okay, this is just a rope. It looks like the snake. It looks to be something dangerous. But what is it? Totally without danger. 
it is so undangerous it is just a piece of rope it is in fact an aropa aropa means a superimposition because that is exactly what is so sarpagraha means the grasping of the snake where where it is not is rope snake or non snake it's a non snake so in a non snake place if you see snake on a non snake object if you see snake that is sorry it is on you it is your own imagination <laughs> right <laughs> it is your bad it is not any any other thing you cannot blame anybody else it is your problem why because on a non snake you projected a snake and then when people told you after they brought you after they put some smelling salts near your nose and fanned you and sprinkled with water because you had go fainted so then they brought you out of the unconsciousness and they said look it's a rope <laughs> it's not a snake see and it's not even enough to say it's not a snake you have to say what it is what it was mistaken for it's a rope and rope is what harmless and useful both and that's why this example is taken chaitanya is harmless and is useful why because when i know i am chaitanya swarupa moksha is gained that's why so like the rope it is both harmless and it is useful to understand it is the it is the uh, it is the other side of atma agnyanam it is atma agnyanam knowing myself as kevala consciousness only consciousness is is in fact very very necessary for anything in life if i so this way uh, the reality has to be understood because consciousness cannot be divided and if it looks that one jiva is there and another jiva is there and one jiva is fighting with another jiva <laughs> all this what we just have to see it as mrsha mithya so mithya means dependent reality it's not false it's dependent reality so on what is it depending chaitanya consciousness what else is there to depend on so this kind of a division between atma and anatma is not there see the first part he he spent in the, if we go let us scroll back and see and now we see that we are into the heart of this we are about halfway in the text so if we scroll back and see you will see um, you will see that like, yeah let us look at this um, from verse 17 onwards you will see so much difference atma vinashka lohe kah deho bahubhiravritah tayoraikyam prapashyanti kim agnyanat matav param look how can you say atma and uh, chaitanya are one and the same so atma and deha are not one and the same atma vinishkalah vinishkalah means without parts deha has many parts but still people who are ignorant see the union of all they they mix up the two like this we have atma gnanamaya punya deha maam samaya ashuchi ashuchi means impure atma is gnanamaya it's it's all knowledge and it is punya it is it is the most auspicious thing it is why knowing which i am free from all inauspicious things but still people mix up the two so first part was separating the two and you, if you go even before then also we had uh, uh, you know the, the we we, we had uh, the uh, separation so we had the separation first the separation was given and then now what now the time has come to unite it because if we keep separating atma and deha then what will happen i will go away thinking i am as good as the deha that is what will happen and that is not admissible that is not permissible and so therefore what i have to do therefore i have to see that um, i have to see that i am not the um i uh, uh, that, that that this division is finally swallowed up and what is remaining uh, what is remaining is what chaitanya swarupa that is all that is remain first the distinction is made why because there is a mix up because i think myself to be as good as the body mind sense complex because this mix up is there then the separation has to be done 
Atma is forever, body is finite. Mind is finite, but Atma is forever. Then again this difference has to be swallowed up. How? By saying the Deha is Mithya, Manaha is Mithya, Ahankara is Mithya. What else is there? Chittam is Mithya. Buddhi is Mithya. All of them are Mithya, means they are dependent upon Chaitanya, they are non-separate from Chaitanya. In fact, all that there is, is Chaitanya alone. This is what has to be understood. So, very lovely example here to understand that. Chaitanya sya ekarupatvat bhedo yukto na karhichit jivatvam chamrishagnyayam rajvam sarpagraho yatha. Jivatvam means the um, uh, Jivatvam means what? Jivahood. Jivahood must likewise be um, understood as uh, what is that? Mithya. Yeah. What is Jivahood? <laughs> the status of being Jiva. That one calls oneself I am endowed with these, these attributes. That makes me a Jiva. So the status of being jiva is denied on the on the understanding of tvampada. When you when you shake out the word tvam from all the things that drop, like you know when you harvest the potatoes and beat them on the side of the road to make them pure, correct? So when you beat them on the side of the road to make them pure, so that all the clods of earth, which is non-potato, falls off, right? Clod of earth attached to the potato is non-potato. So the big, big clods fall out. And so you just beat it gently and shake it about. And then what happens? Non-potato, 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 fadar, 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 it falls down. Non-potato goes away. What remains? Potato. <laughs> So here also, when you say this is what constitutes Jeevatvam, there is a mix-up of Chaitanya and then non-Chaitanya, Jada elements. So then, cognitively you beat the Jeeva on the side of the road. <laughs> cognitively, you thrash the fellow on the side of the road. <laughs> Jeevatvam falls away, analytically. Cognitively you thrash, not literally you thrash. All the complaints fall away, all the fears fall away because anything that is finite is not consciousness. So then you do a little analysis, what all is not finite, everything that is not finite falls away. What is left? Chaitanya. What is that? Ishvara. That's what is left, nothing else is left other than that. And so this is, uh, this is what we have to understand, this is what is Jeevatvam. Jivatvam means all the things that are attached to this consciousness that constitute attached as though to this consciousness that constitutes jivaness, jivahood. So jivaness and jivahood are constituted by this kind of a thing alone. And so what is that thing? A conglomerate of Chaitanya and non-Chaitanya elements, finite elements are non-Chaitanya elements and the infinite is Chaitanya Swarupa which, which makes these elements come together and act, which makes the Jnanendriyas and Karmendriyas act. That is what it is. So, but then the body act, acts in a certain way, the mind acts in a certain way and what does the Jiva think? I am the doer. I am the one who is doing. I am the experiencer. All this is Mrisha. So, the feeling that I am the doer is Jivatvam. The feeling that I am the experiencer is Jivatvam. That is all non-Ishvara. Non so, when the Jiva is thrashed on the road, Jivatvam disappears through analysis. And then, what is remains is what? Only Ekasvarupa Chaitanyam. That is what we have to understand. Next one. Rajva Jnanat. No, there is Okshane oh, Neva. Rajva Jnanat Kshane Neva. Rajva Jnanat Kshane Neva. Yadva Rajur Hi Sarpini. Yadva Rajur Hi Sarpini. Bhati Tadva Chitis Sakshad. 
भाति तद्वचित साक्षात विश्वाकारेण केवला विश्वाकारेण केवला रज्ज्ञा क्षण नज्जुर्हि सर्पिणी भाति तद्वचित साक्षात विश्वाकारेण केवला सो नेक्स्ट वन से रज्जु अज्ञानात रज्जु मीन्स वॉट रोप रज्जु अज्ञानात मीनिंग थ्रू द इग्नोरेन्स ऑफ द रोप यद्वत इन विच मैनर रज्जुर् दिस रोप अलोन क्षण नैव इन वन सेकेंड सर्पिणी सर्पिणी मीन्स स्नेक bhati appears so first it was what rajju but since i did not know it was rajju what did it become snake when did it become snake before i could even close and open my eyes it became snake all right kshane ne in one second in one millisecond microsecond picosecond microsecond nanosecond and what was the latest one attosecond <laughs> If you don't know what atto second is, uh, Google the physics uh, Nobel Prize the scientists got and why they got. Then you will know what an atto second is. So atto second. So in one small whatever change has taken place. Where in the perception. So the change has taken place. The same rope in the same place where it was. suddenly has become what eek snake <laughs> so this so in the same manner yad yadvat tadvachiti in the same manner kevala chiti the consciousness that is only itself unconditioned by the world unconditioned by becoming names and becoming names and forms sakshat means it is itself alone Well, without undergoing any change, Vishwa kare na bhati, kevala chiti hi sakshat Vishwa kare na tadvat we have to add bhati. Vishwa kara means as the jagat. Vividha pratyaya gamyam vishvam that which is known through different, different and many and varied cognitions. Vividha pratyaya gamyam vishvam. so this is vishwa vishwa means the entire universe so did now so a few and so this this uh, entire universe this chaitanya appears as the entire universe in one second just like what the rajju appeared as a sarpini snake that to female snake <laughs> so <laughs> yeah because shakti you know to show shakti a, a little very subtle nod to maya shakti for to to bring in the goddess very beautiful so it to eat uh, uh, sarpini vat rajju bhati when e ek kshane neva ek kshane na in one kshane kshana in one millisecond it has the rajju has changed so to speak changed into snake similarly when you are not looking this chaitanya appears as the jagat due to what agyanam there also the rajju turned into snake in a second how why due to rajju agyanat and here also due to chaitanya agyanat chaitanya looks as many and varied when it is not it is not many it is not varied but then there will always be somebody that is separate <laughs> mother in law you know there will always be somebody that is different or outlaw in law outlaw in laws who behave like outlaws so many things are there there will always be something that is separate something that is different okay so then uh, so this is what we have to see so uh, rajju uh, rajju agnyanath because of the 
Ajnana. What is Ajnana? Self, uh, sorry, ignorance of rope. Because of rope ignorance, rope in a second has become, become snake. Correct? And then similarly, this Kevala Chitihi, consciousness unconditioned by any name or form, has spread itself as the entire Jagat without losing weight, without uh, changing anything, without just uh, you know undergoing any transformation. So for the Raju to become snake, did it have to develop fangs and fill the poison sacks with poison? Did it have to, did it have to develop scales? Did it have to develop the rattling tail? If it's a rattlesnake, you know, the tail rattles. That's how you know it's poisonous. It says stay away and we better listen. <laughs> we better listen. And snakes are not to be played with. In fact, that's what our parents taught us, don't stay away. But now in America and other places, they keep snakes as pets. Snake aquarium, snake aquarium, snake aquarium, and so in your snake aquarium you can have two, th two, three snakes. In fact, they are not interesting at all because they are just they just eat and then sleep the rest of the time. And what else will they do? They are in a cage. They are in a glass cage. How can they be? They are not going to be interesting just to entertain you. Snakes belong in the wild. Okay, yeah, you live in a house. You can even live in a cage if you want, but don't put the snake there, all right. Yeah. Certain animals belong in the wild. Snake is definitely there because it doesn't know what it's doing. Suddenly it can do something. And uh, so, the, uh, the, uh, just like the rope does not take on the qualities of the snake, the rope does not develop fangs, the rope does not develop any kind of ability to move around with its chest. It does not become, in other words, uragaha. Uragaha means urasi. Uras is this portion. Uras. Urasi gachati. It just goes along with the help of its chest. It propels itself forward. That's why we have bhujangasana in yoga. Yeah. So. So it doesn't, uh, the rope doesn't propel itself forward. The rope doesn't develop fangs. The rope doesn't uh, develop a forked tongue. The rope doesn't develop a, a slimy, shiny nature. The rope doesn't develop scales or the ability to bite. Rope has undergone only little bit change. No, rope has undergone no change to appear as a snake. Similarly, this consciousness, even though we say it has lent itself to illumine the Jagat, etc., etc., that is at a different and a lesser level of understanding. Now, as we are going more and more subtle into the text, the text is going to be much, is going to present the Abheda Darshanam with much more finesse than we ever thought. So here, what is it saying? It is saying that the consciousness has not undergone any change, A, to become the, to quote unquote, appear as the Jagat, and then the properties of the Jagat, which is what? Dukkha, <laughs> complaints, fears, manyness, variedness, stress, anxiety, these are all properties connected to the samsara. Do not touch the Chaitanya. Do not touch Atma Chaitanya, do not touch this consciousness. You cannot even say at this level, you cannot even say consciousness as though conditioned by the Jagat, because consciousness conditioned by the Jagat, no. There is no conditioning, there is no conditioner, unless you are talking of what you put in your hair, okay? There is no, <laughs> there is no conditioner, there is no uh, conditioning. The conditioner conditioning, conditioning has to go. <laughs> That is the conditioning that has to go. And that condition, conditioning developed because we had to understand this and, and, and become more, uh, what is that, more refined in our thinking of non-duality. Because non-duality does not come uh, 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 according to this, uh, uh, it does not come up to Jagat and Ishvara and get stuck in the difference there. It has to go beyond. That is what is non-duality. It has to transcend that. Otherwise, you're stuck with two, internally two. 
One of them is a seeker, one of them knows I am free, the other one is crying, mummy, mummy. Where, where are you going to go? You know? Are you going to your mummy or are you going to approach the mother Shruti? And uh, because what will she do? She will burp the samsara out of you. Just like the mother after feeding goes like this. Yeah. So she feeds you the whole jagat and says, eat it and burps the samsara out of you. All that there is, is you alone. That is what Mother Shastra does. So either you can go and, you know, cry all the time and catch hold of the mummy, the local mummy, or you can go to the Shastra and uh, which raises you to understand this very subtle truth. And so what is the truth here? That even though we say that everything has come out of this chiti, this uh, consciousness, it has the, the chiti, that is just aupacharika words, that is just figurative. Nothing has come out of the consciousness, nothing has gone into the consciousness. It's all an apparent reality and as though, as though, as though. Okay, now, so then next one. Upadanam prapanchasya Upadanam prapanchasya Brahmano nyanna vidyate Brahmano nyanna vidyate Tasmat sarva prapancho yam Tasmat sarva prapancho yam Brahmai vastina jetarat Brahmai vastina jetarat Upadanam prapanchasya Upadhanam means the material cause. What is the material cause? Maya Shakti. Maya Shakti. That which appears as the material, that's the material cause. Why is it uh, appearing as the material? Because she is the Shakti that makes you think that. The one as though she projects into many. That is the Shakti. That is called Upadhana Karanam. That is Maya. Okay. Upadhanam. Uh, uh, so, this upadhanam, prapanchasya of the universe. Prapancha means that which has come out of the five elements. Upadhanam, prapanchasya, brahmanaha na anyat vidyate. It is not other than brahman. So, the material cause of this universe is also what? Brahman. Why? Maya is nothing but brahman. Maya is Mithya. Mithya means it's non-separate from Ishvara Brahman. So Maya being Brahman, then the material cause of the Jagat is what? Nothing other than Brahman. Maya was just an intermediary. Uh, what is it called? A, uh, a teaching device uh, to account for the plurality of the universe. It was a mere teaching device. Now that the teaching is being assimilated, or so we think, so we uh, assume, since the teaching is now being quickly assimilated, then we have to see the truth of Maya. Otherwise, we will think Maya and Brahman were two separate things. And they got married and they had a baby called Jagat. No. <laughs> That is, that is just too simple and, uh, what should we say, uh, really crude as well. And because Maya cannot become a parallel reality to Brahman. If Maya says, what will she say, I am bringing raw materials. Then the question is, where are you bringing them from? <laughs> First of all, who are you? I am Maya. Where did you come from? Brahman. Okay, keep quiet. <laughs> if you also came from Brahman, then the, if anything that comes from Brahman doesn't have an independent reality. This is a maxim. So if Maya comes taking all the credit to herself and she has brought a whole platter on which the Jagat is sitting, the Jagat has come in Maya's hands, she says, here, I have brought a Jagat for you to enjoy. And then you'll say, who are, who are you first? I am, I, you know, I came from Brahman. Okay, shut up. Keep quiet. If you also came from Brahman, that means what? You have no leg to stand on. 
because you are not an independently real you're not an entity that is independently real there is only one thing that is independent independent and that which is independent we call real and what is that brahman consciousness everything else is just you know a a device a pedagogical device to explain the differences to understand the differences and once the differences have been understood have been understood you go back to brahman that is what it is you separate in order to unite in your mind without that separation that unification is not possible to see so prapanchasya upadanam brahmano anyat na vidyate so the cause of the universe is not other than brahman this has been uh, it is there no other cause exists material or intelligent everything is brahman intelligent cause brahman material cause brahman everything brahman so tasmat therefore sarva prapancha ayam brahmai vasti nacha itarat so therefore ayam this sarva prapancha this entire universe is what brahman alone na itarat nothing other than that so you cannot say any more after this class brahman plus the universe <laughs> there is no plus there is no plus it's like infinity plus 1 ye kya baat hai infinity plus 1 means what infinity so similarly it's just a value added plus it's an as though plus you cannot say brahman plus the jagat because there is no jagat separate don't say there is no jagat there is no jagat separate from brahman this we have to understand because sitting in the jagat somebody will say how can you say there is no jagat so as do jagat sitting in this jagat you say that this jagat is non separate from brahman brahman alone is how as do modified not really modified as do appearing as not really appearing as this jagat brahman it's an apparent reality so that is that is what has to be understood next one व्याप्य व्यापकता मिथ्या व्याप्य व्यापकता मिथ्या सर्वमात्मे शासनात सर्वमात्मे शासनात इति ज्ञाते परे तत्वे इति ज्ञाते परे तत्वे भेदस्यावसर कुतः भेदस्यावसर कुतः सो दिस इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल एंड अ लिटिल इन्वॉल्व ऑल्सो सो लेट अस लुक एट दिस व्याप्य व्याप्य मीन्स दैट विच इज व्यापन योग्य मीन्स दैट विच इज परवेडेड व्यापक व्यापक मीन्स परवेडर सो इन द बिगिनिंग ऑफ अर एनक्वायरी वी हेड सेड ईशावास्यम इदम सर्वम all this here is pervaded by brahman and the jagat is pervaded and who is the pervader ishvara brahman is the pervader now we have to go back and revise this sentence ha huh. then why did you say it if you want to revise it because if we hadn't said it we wouldn't have been in a place to revise it ha <laughs> huh. you have to understand that you know see we in in the beginning the child has to be told the, the child has to be told don't do this when you go to the other children that toy is their toy <laughs> this toy is your toy whose toy you have to play with <laughs> only your toy you must not even look at the other child's toy <laughs> because that is how the, they fight they will fight no 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 ma then it has to be taught it is yours okay then after it is a little older then the that child he or she learns to share learns to understands the joy of sharing not only understands the joy discovers and understands the joy of sharing understands that without sharing i will not be able to experience all the toys in this world <laughs> and if i don't give up my toy for 10 minutes then the other toy which my parents never buy for me i cannot experience so here you please take for for the next 10 minutes this is your toy don't break it play with it and i will also play play with your toy 
So when I play with your toy, I'm careful because why? You have my toy. I don't want you to break my toy. Therefore, I will take uh, very good care of your toy. This way, the child slowly learns. But at two year old, this cannot be told. So in the beginning, you have to say, don't play with his toy. Don't play with her toy. Play with what? Only your toys you have to play. This is yours. This is not yours. Then later on, the same mother who said, this is yours, this is not yours, don't even look at that. The same mom, what will she say? <laughs> you know what? Why don't you give him for some time? Why don't you play with her toy for some time? You know, this way it is nice, you enjoy more. Same mom will teach. And then the child cannot say, why did you say that before? That was needed <laughs> at that time. Because the child was distressed. And the child wanted everything which, which it could not have. So similarly, the inner child here, or who is a balaha, means who is not ready for the full extent of this knowledge, has to be immediate in, in the beginning, intermediary. Uh, you know, the intermediary step has to be performed. It has to be told. What does it have to be told? Vyapya Vyapakata. So, yeah, so the pervader, pervasive, pervading difference is there. Ishvara is all pervasive. You are small pervasive. You can barely pervade this body, mind, sense complex. Ishvara pervades the whole universe. Therefore, bhakti. Therefore, shraddha. Therefore, atmanivedanam. Surrender. Therefore, shanti. Therefore, prayer. Therefore, karma. Therefore, getting rid of karma through prayer. All this is needed in the beginning. Why? Because the jiva is a mess in the beginning. So in the beginning, the jiva is like a child, has to be told the rules of engagement with Ishvara and the Jagat. So the Ishvara is already seen as separate because of this Ajnana Drishti. Ajnana Drishtya, Ishvara separate, Jagat separate. And so even if you sit on the rooftop and shout, everything is one, this jiva will, will have uh, cotton in the ears. They will not understand. They will, better than cotton are noise cancelling headphones. They have samsara headphones that cancel any kind of Brahma Vidya. So any noise created by Brahma Vidya will not be heard because samsara cancels that. And they are li listening to heavy metal music, which is samsara, <laughs> which threatens to destroy the eardrums. And so how will the soft cadences that of tattvamasi reach those ears? <laughs> well, then you have to take out this, these headphones. Noise cancelling, only uh, upachara, figuratively. They may, how do they cancel noise? By making even more noise than what is there. <laughs> this is what it is. So for such a person who is unprepared for this knowledge has to be, uh, you know, the, for, for such a person we have to reaffirm what is already there. The distance and the difference between Jiva, Jagat, Ishvara is there. So you say, yes, this Jagat is away from you. Things you want are away from you. Ishvara is in charge. Go pray. Go surrender. Because there are many things you cannot control because you don't pervade the Jagat. Ishvara pervades the Jagat and Ishvara pervades your body and that way some oneness is gained because that is the only oneness they can have at that time because of the lack of mental preparation, because of Ajnanam, because of Ragadvesha. So what kind of oneness they can have? Ishvara pervades this body mind sense complex. Oh, I feel cocooned, I feel hugged, I feel embraced by Ishvara. This is very nice. But then now we have grown up, we don't see the baby is swaddled, means tied up nicely in a piece of cloth to make it look like a, <laughs> to make it look like a just a little, uh, you know, bundle. And why? Because it has come from the womb, where it is all just like this, it's in a fetal position with the legs like this, with the hands like this, that's what it's used to. Sometimes they get scared. They don't. They, they look at their hand and they cry because they say, what is this? <laughs> Something separate from me. So then they have to be swaddled like this. So the, the legs and hands are kept like this and the mother ties them up for the first uh, one, or two, one month. Then after that, 
you don't need to do this. So first, the jiva is protected from all the pains and sorrows by saying, Ishvara pervades you, Ishvara pervades the jagat. Pray to this Ishvara, get relief from all your pains and sorrows. Now that the baby is grown up, you don't need the swaddling blanket of pervader, pervasive. You don't need that. You don't need the pervader, pervaded. That the pervader, pervaded distinction is also what? Mithya. Vyapya, Vyapakata. The status of pervader and pervaded is also Mithya. Why? Sarvam Atma Iti Shasanat. Because of the teaching that everything is Atma alone. Shasanat by the teaching where in the Shruti, in the Shruti it is taught and we'll see where etc. So in the Shruti it is taught. What is taught? Sarvam Atma Iti. Everything is Atma alone. Iti Jnate Pare Tatve. When this ultimate uh, truth is known, iti jnate pare tatve, when this ultimate truth has been understood, kutaha bhedasya avasaraha, where is the place for distinction? Bhedasya avasaraha kutaha, where is the place for distinction? Means what? There is no place where you can make the distinction at all. Why? Because iti jnate pare tatve, when the truth is understood. How is the truth understood? Through uh, study of Vedanta. How else it is understood? And what is the truth? Vyapya Vyapakata Mithya. That the status of pervader pervaded is Mithya. There is nothing to pervade because the, 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 the uh, Jagat is an as though project, projection. So there is nothing to pervade. And if there is nothing to pervade, then where is the pervader? Where is the pervaded? There is no pervaded pervader. Pervaded pervader is an as though projection on that consciousness which is neither pervader nor pervaded. That is what we have to understand. This is Mithyaiti Shasanat because of the Shruti saying it is Mithya. When the truth is understood, when the ultimate truth, param, uh, pare tatve, parama, when the Parama Tattva is understood, what happens? The, the, this is that, um, you know, uh, uh, the, the, this is that, uh, this is that truth. When it is understood, then Bhedasya Avasaraha. Bhedasya Avasaraha means where is the place for this kind of difference. Meaning there is no place for this kind of difference when this is understood. We start looking at the Jagat as an extension of oneself, as an extension of that consciousness. And a, not even an extension, as, as though extension. Everything is one iti. Okay. Yeah. Om Purnamadav Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnamevavashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om